Hey guys, Viggo Man here and welcome back to the Legacy SMP once again, this is episode 16. In today's episode we are going to be working around our base here, doing some cleaning up, fixing stuff and I also want to work a little bit with the sorting system for our storage room to make that all functional and stuff. First of all, I want to move the beacon base to here, just like that. And the beam comes up here in the middle of our base like that. And what I want to do is to work a little bit with how to tie this into the base here. Because now it sticks out like a sore thumb. And I don't really like it. And that's always tricky with beacons, I think. Is to try to make it work with your style. Especially when you're not doing modern cyberpunk futuristic stuff. Because you have a laser beam literally coming out of the ground here. How do you tie that in with steampunk? I don't really know, <laughs> but I have an idea. We're gonna try it and hopefully it will work. Uh, you, you probably played with this when you was a kid, like those plasma globes or plasma lamps, uh, like these spheres of purple lightning stuff. And when you touch them, uh, you had like this lightning coming out of your finger thing. I, I, I remember them and I really wanted one, but I, I never got one. But today we're building one. Uh, I, I'm gonna try and make a steampunk version out of that. And uh, we're gonna make it look like there's thunder thing coming out of the beam here and then it all accumulates into like this blasting beam out of it. I don't know, maybe it won't work, maybe it will work. It might actually look like a combination of a plasma globe and a Tesla beam, the Tesla thingy. So <laughs> let's build with a little base here uh, and just see where that kind of sets the style for it. For some reason, the beacon beam wasn't showing in the replay clip there, but it's here, it's still here, it's still working, don't you worry your pretty little selves, it's not broken. <laughs> uh, but what we have here is the base for uh, what's gonna be like the plasma globe, which is gonna go up here, and uh, just like a little wooden foundation thing, and then we're gonna tie that in. Uh, I'm thinking that the globe itself is gonna be like, let's say a radius which is two blocks wider than this, so imagine it kinda goes like that, just above, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it makes sense, but it doesn't have to be too big, because I don't want it to interfere with uh, the Steam Buster 3000 over there, because that would be kind of bad if I was on a collision course, so we have got to make sure it's it's not crashing with that one, but if, like, if we make the size correct here, I think it's going to look pretty cool, uh, just to have some variation in color uh, and stuff like that. Oh, would you look at that? Someone has been here and planted down some flowers for the dead villager. How nice. But for now, the foundation here of the plasma globe is going to be a little bit of a teaser. Because what I want to do now is to go, whoops, <laughs> go down here uh, and go back into my storage system. Let's do a little pirouette like that. And, uh, no, actually the entrance is here. Uh, in the back of these chests. There's so much room and I'm going to utilize that with uh, making more or less an automatic sorting system. There's a couple of blocks that I don't really think I'm going to have automated sorting on. And I'm going to try to classify it like here we have some kind of blocks and, and try to squeeze it in and optimize it a little bit. And for the blocks that we really get like massive amounts of like cobblestone and, and uh, smooth stone and dirt and stuff like that, I might do like a storage uh, silos or something somewhere else uh, and this will just be like for general use. Uh, so what I want to do, I'm going to first of all turn that because I have them all like uh, on a diagonal here, uh, is uh, placing in some hopper lines, maybe, yeah, let's do that first so we know that we have enough space and then we have to tie up a hopper line from this chest which is the input chest uh, and bring that kind of back and around this whole thing and start it up on either that side or the other one and then I want to try to tie in the super smelter we did the last episode uh, up there into and just kind of have a hopper line going from that one straight into the, the line from this chest does this make sense guys I hope it does uh, but we need a lot of iron for that and luckily I've been down mining very much so I have Yeah, almost two stacks. I all I have a lot more in my storage area But all the iron we can get is important So we're gonna use the super smelter put that in there and, and uh, smelt up some of that It is super satisfying to see the items tick into the chest right here. I'm going to be using the standard Impulse SV's uh, item sorting redstone circular thingy, I don't know. But can you hear the minecarts? 
that's going to be super annoying because I expect to be working on this for a couple of hours, I think. Uh, but basically, um, what this does is it compares a signal, send it through if it's the correct item which opens this thing. I'm not going to go super into detail here, uh, but these comparators, they need quartz in... Uh, this guy doesn't have any quartz, so <laughs> I gotta go to the nether for quite a while and just mine out like stacks, I think, for uh, to finish off this area here. So let's go to the nether. Yeah, I think that would do. <laughs> So all of the most important sorters are in place now, all of the ones that I currently have a lot of uh, and it's super simple to modify this by adding just another piece of this stackable uh, filter system here. Uh, if we want that on some of the other chests right here, but currently uh, like all the stone, wood, glass, wool uh, and the stuff I have the most of it is filtered through. But what I want to do now is I'm going to try to create a system here for items where I can put them in this chest shoot them out in an item stream. I think I'm going to use ice here and uh, it's going to wrap around around here maybe follow this line and then go up and then somehow go into that uh, hopper right there. So that is the plan I have uh, but I don't have any ice so I think we've got to go over to the shopping district uh, and see if we can buy some ice there. I bet you were expecting the, the sitcom transition there but not today, not today. In front of us we have Gemini Taste beautiful ice shop i love this this is probably my favorite shop uh like looking like wise <laughs> uh, and there's regular ice and packed ice one diamond for 32 so let's take let's take two stacks and by the looks of it chimney swift has hold his part of the deal here he's filled this up with nice honey and I've given a little sign here, drinks provided by the Honey Chapel and also added a sign, no drinks outside so people can't come in here and just stack up and then leave again. Uh, and a sign here, <laughs> Mr. Whip, he, he walked in here without, without a pass. I saw that in the video, so I have evidence, guys. So I had to put up a sign, no entry without the gold club pass. If I was online, I would have slapped him really really hard but <laughs> I wasn't online so now we have a sign to prevent that from happening in the future uh, and we didn't have any new new members sadly but hopefully there's gonna get more of us in the golden club but let's um let's place some of this packed ice I didn't go for the blue palette pra pract pack pack yeah words today <laughs> it's getting late guys you please bear with me here uh, just gonna kind of make a system here and I haven't played with ice and uh, water uh, slides things in such a long time so i might have to spend a couple of uh, minutes extra here just to make sure i do it correctly everything should be wired up now and i'm ready to test this together with you guys and since we're doing that big plasma globe thing uh, later in the video i think we're just gonna grab a bunch of sand and start smelting that up because uh we're gonna need all that glass for for the like the general shape of that i think glass would be the, the block that makes more sense. So let's run up here and I want to test it with the super smelter as well. So send to storage system. Uh, we then go up here and we, um, let's see, we just drop everything up in here. It eats it super fast and <laughs> noise making happening. Uh, but it should be now soon be able to see that from down here. Shoes are popping, I do believe. Let's wait a little bit and we'll, yeah, look at that, the glass is coming. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> oh, dude, I love this. That was the first batch and then it's gonna come a new one straight away, yeah. Look at that. That is great and hopefully all of that then ends up in the correct chest. If that happens, I think we can call this a success. So let's see now, go on down here and if, yeah, glass is ticking in. That is awesome. Since we got the sorting system up and running, I think it's time for us to move on and play with this thing right here and the plasma globe thing. And while we do that, I'm gonna work a little bit on just getting some resources. I wanna talk to you guys about something that is not very important, but something that was on my mind. You could hear a creeper fall right there. Um, 
and it's something for me personally it doesn't really mean too much uh, but I think I'm just gonna get it out there so in case you guys do the same thing for other youtubers uh, they you understand okay so basically what I'm talking about I'm sounding super serious right now um, is I'm getting a lot of comments saying, Hey Vigo, can you make more videos? Hey Vigo, can you make daily legacy videos? Hey Vigo, can you know, you, you get the deal, you know? Just people wanting more. And first of all, thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you guys uh, enjoy the content I make at so much that you, you keep on wanting more, okay? So that's the first thing I want to get out there. Thank you so much for that. It means a lot. And I know you guys all only mean it well. Only mean it uh, in a good way, most of you guys at least. Uh, so first of all, thank you, but for, I, I'm not able to do more. I'm spending all my spare time on making videos guys So uh, personally, I'm not able and uh, but the thing I want to talk to you guys about is that when you are asking for more videos How, how many is that like that or is it? Okay, I have plenty of uh, die then um, the thing is when When you ask people for more content you kind of make it seem like you don't understand the amount of effort that they content creator you're asking is putting into the videos uh, like if you're expecting videos every day by content creator you make it sound like yeah it's probably playing for an hour 20 minutes and editing for an hour 20 minutes no that's not how it works guys it, it takes so long oh man I need more I need more glass I gotta run up there and use the smelter again uh, making videos takes a lot more time than it might look like and it, it's not just playing a game it is planning it's timing it's finding the proper ways and do collabs and editing it takes forever finding music uploading making thumbnails Making a video takes quickly 10 hours, okay? Uh, no matter what kind of video you're doing, uh, for I'm probably spending 10 hours for each legacy video. So just keep that in mind when you're asking for more content. I know you all are you're doing it in, in uh, with good purposes, but yeah, it, it takes a lot of time, guys. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're asking and try to understand how much effort the YouTuber is putting in and maybe just let him know. Thank you so much for all the effort you're making for these videos here. Uh, I would love to see more, but I understand that that is not possible, okay? <laughs> I don't want to be too serious with you guys, but I just, it's something that was on my mind and I just want to get it out there with you. Hope you guys understand. I'm not mad at any of you because I I'm, I'm just thank you, take it as a positive thing. Uh, that should then go... Yeah, it goes straight into my sorting system, so that's actually down here now. So yeah, I just wanna let that out for you guys. And while I'm collecting more resources now, I'm gonna put on some music, uh, and some music for you as well. Uh, it's not gonna be the same one, it's gonna be way less screaming in the music you're listening to. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be starting to build up the plasma globe. <laughs> I think that looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with that. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the glass from some angles, especially when you're like looking at it from the sky and stuff, but I think it works. A and we have this white glass in the middle here with the end rods to kind of make that um, electric thingy. And then the beacon's gonna come on any second now. I have a feeling, I hope so. I hope it's not broken. It always takes a little bit of time before the beacon beam starts showing here, but yeah, I think it's cool. Um, it's kind of 
not really steampunk, but uh, since it's electricity in here. But I, I kind of want to make some kind of lore where it's not really electricity. It's something else, just like some power that is contained and it shoots out. I don't know, because uh, steampunk doesn't generally have... Uh, electricity so we gotta <laughs> gotta make our own little lore on that and then we have these cool cables coming into the base here uh, same goes for there uh, and then we got that very detailed top bit where we have um, like yeah you can barely see like some gold and lamps and things and I just gonna kind of encapsulate the, um, the beam that goes up and there we can see the beam coming in as well that looks super cool I think it it kind of works how I imagined it, but but execution is uh, all right. I think it's it's really hard to see the glass. I was hoping the glass would stand out more and give more of an elect electric feeling, but but it works. I think actually without shaders, it does sell the idea a little bit more because now you can see the colors of the glass a little bit more. Like there's bigger contrast now, uh, but it definitely looks a little bit worse kind of because you don't have the same lighting effect but anyway what i want to do now is trying to tie this shablang right here which stands really out now uh into the overall general area here and the plan is that uh, i'm going to make sure we have some space here because as i've said many times i'm going to have a bridge which kind of diagonally and kind of maybe upwards as well reach over to the mountains over there just kind of passing through the whole thing here uh, so we gotta make sure we have space for that but maybe make some kind of park i think that would be cool and then we're gonna tie that into this thing which i have no clue how that's gonna happen but we gotta try uh, so i think what i will do is try to flat this out try to make some kind of plaza thing and then just tie this globe thing in with the rest of the, the path and landscape and stuff around here and hopefully it will look pretty good in the end. I decided to elevate the little plaza here using a brick containing all like that and mix in some different blocks here just to spare myself the, uh, the struggle of getting all that bricks but it also just breaks it up a little bit and I think it looks really cool even adding some jungle in here and honestly it's not that bad. Uh, I'm using another shader now. I usually use cylinders for the videos here but I'm using chocopic ch 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 I don't know <laughs> uh, chocopic 13 that's the one I'm using right now and the 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 globe thing looks stunning with this one I think the colors are absolutely better but again it's still very transparent when you have the sky in the back there but I like it a lot um, so we have this thing here uh, I have some coral blocks in the ground here for the first time ever using that and it just breaks up the pattern and I think it looks cool. I uh, added a small a few benches here and there so you can sit down with the view. Uh, something that I haven't really discussed too much with you guys but uh, we are going to have like a big waterway system on the server here. Uh, so you can see the river that is flowing down there. Uh, you can see it kind of going there and it kind of wraps around and goes up that way again. Uh, through a slight slime space which is right over there. Uh, that is something we're going to be working on in the future uh, is to to make uh, this waterway here and then I might do a little harbor down there for our base so that's going to be like a nice way of looking at that but also all the way over there <laughs> barely rendering uh, the shopping district is right over there uh, and I'm, I think I'm going to do a little harbor there as well so that we can use the waterways to get into the shopping district and just place our boat there and it's going to just tie this whole lagoon thing in together here I think uh, but that's for a future episode guys uh, we got this area here uh, and it wraps around this thing here with a little opening uh, added this small lamppost which looks pretty cool very like old rustic thing but yeah kind of cool uh, I want to do something special here but it can't go upwards because this thing uh, but maybe I don't know something cool we can do down here let me know down below guys if you have any ideas uh, but I've also added or tie this together with the water wheel. <laughs> so I did I did some lore writing thingy and, and uh, let me present to you why this water wheel is here and why the water comes out of this thing. So basically what I'm trying to to tie in here is how this thing can have this sparkly effect without using electricity because as we already established there's no electricity in steampunk as far as I know like traditionally. 
so this one is like power from the core of the earth or something and they were trying to harvest inside this thing here and there's a lot of excess power that is accumulating uh, energy that is just sh shooting out like that so that's the story behind the beam and it's all kind of contained inside here but it, it comes from the core almost like the tesla beam thing um which is using the power of the earth um, that power is used to heat up the water, which is then taken from the groundwater and then heated up so it uh, comes to steam, goes up, uh, condensates, and then goes into this pond here where it's cooling down. And that's why we have the particle effects here, the smoke, because the water is super duper hot. Um, and, before, and then it flows down here and all of that water is used to power this massive wheel. So basically this groundwater that we used thermal energy to heat up so we can uh, move it up to the surface then pour it down to move this water wheel and then we got to figure out a nice way to use this water wheel <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, this water wheel basically is the, the the important thing here and all of the thing we built around here is just to make this water wheel here move so in the future we got to figure out what this water wheel does maybe something important i think I am now on top of my air balloon, airship, shablang thing, uh, looking over at their base, and man, I gotta say, I love the variation we have, the amount of colors and stuff like that. I'm very happy with how this is this is going. And when I'm recording this, we just passed 13,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that, guys. I really appreciate all the support and feedback and love and all that jazz for legacy series here i'm really enjoying this and i hope you guys are as well uh i'm getting towards the end of the video here but before i let you guys go i just want to ask you a little bit of thing we have this this floating island here i don't want to remove that i want to keep that in and try to tie that in so what should we do with that one in the future guys let me know down below uh and uh when that is said i think we're gonna call it an episode thank you so much for watching guys really do hope that you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been Vigo man and i'm out <laughs>